This is Randy Santel, Atlas with FoodChallenges.com. Today I am extra excited. This video is going to be all about how to win a massive hot dog challenge. We are here in Decatur, Illinois at University Dogs taking on their big dog challenge. Now as you see here, there's basically two one foot hot dogs on nine inch hoagie rolls. Most restaurants can't get just one massive loaf or baguette for the bun. So sometimes they break it up into two. We're gonna treat it as a two foot hot dog. Most hot dog challenges as far as one large one are usually between 18 inches and three feet. Now this is different than some challenge where you have to eat say 10 to 20 or even more. That will be in a whole separate video is how to eat a multiple hot dog challenge. But for this one, it's all about basically this two foot hot dog and it comes with a large side order of their disaster fries. Now for this one, we're gonna treat it just like we would any kind of burger challenge or other kind of challenge. We are going to basically focus on eating the meat first. Now that is not a huge deal for something like this because on this particular hot dog, it's a little bit thinner. For a lot of hot dog challenges, you don't really have an option. You gotta do all the toppings that they give you. But for this one, I was able to choose. So I went with the ones that I enjoyed the flavor of. I've got 30 minutes to do it. Like I said, we're gonna focus on getting these done. Then we're gonna move on to the disaster fries, which also look good. But we've got a half hour. I think the record is like 16 minutes. We'll try to break that even while giving you guys these instructions, but let's get the challenge going. All right, so now I'm gonna do my pregame ritual, just like I do every challenge, to get myself focused, mentally prepared, ready to smash all this food. Let's get it started. All right, now we've only got 30 minutes to do this thing, so we gotta shut up and eat. But luckily, because it's only 30 minutes, that means that we're able to do these first because with food challenges, you want to do the proteins first, carbs last, unless the carbs are gonna be a problem once they get cold and mushy at the end. But in this case, 30 minutes isn't that much time. The cheese and the chili is gonna help soak the fries up, making them easy to go down after I get these down. So let's begin. I got my timer, the restaurant has theirs. 30 minutes, let's start. One, two, three. All right, now I'm gonna start the Chicago dog by, I think, eating the hot dog by itself, and then I'm basically going to eat this as a little sandwich of its own. Now, with any hot dog, there's no easy way or politically correct way to eat it, so keep your mind out of the gutter. As you can see, I'm basically sawing down on it with little, little bites so I don't have to chew as much. So it's going down pretty easy and the mustard and all the sauces are helping it go down even easier. Now this is where you can go either way. It's up to your preference. You can either eat all of the meat first or like in this case, since it's two separate dogs, I'm going to finish this one off. Mentally, it's gonna help me because I know I've already got one down. Then I've just gotta get this one down. But if you want to, or if you do have just one big dog where it's all the same, finish off the meat, then start working on the bread and topping. But for this one, we're gonna get this one and the toppings done. Now with this one, just to show you guys an example, we're gonna show you what it's like to eat it as a whole thing. You're not able to eat as quickly since you gotta eat the meat and it all at once, but 
the toppings on this thing, along with the meat, is gonna help everything go down pretty quickly. So let's get this one started. You may be thinking, Randy, why aren't you dunking? Dunking would help soak the bread and help it get it down. I myself love food, so I don't dunk the bread and anything into liquids because that makes it nasty. If you're wanting to do that, if the restaurant allows you to, that is an option. But for me personally, I don't do that. Not only because it's nasty, but because nobody wants to watch somebody dipping a whole bunch of bread into water and then eating it, getting water all over the place and stuff like that. So just like I have been, I'm gonna finish this one off. Now these are unique to the restaurant. They've got their homemade chili, nacho cheese, along with the, uh, I got grilled onions rather than raw to help them go down easier. But we're not gonna eat like a big slob. We're going to use our utensils because the chili and the cheese has already been soaking into the potatoes to help them go down faster. All right, now, not much left at all, but I'm starting to get a little bit full. I'm starting to feel it. Now we're gonna switch over to soda to help me get the rest down and get this challenge beat. And like I said, with these fries, or whatever you have to do as your side items, you don't have to use utensils. I mean, you can use your hands. It just depends on how messy you like to get. Ooh. 11 minutes flat. Very, very good hot dog challenge. When you are attempting a massive hot dog challenge, remember to keep it similar to like any other challenge. Eat the proteins and the meats first, followed by the carbs, just like we did. On the first one, we ate the whole meat first. Then you start working on the rest of the hot dog with all the toppings and the bread. And just for, just for an example, I showed you how to eat it as one, enjoy it as one big hot dog, but that's pretty much, it's, it's pretty simple. It's nothing too, there's no rocket science involved. You just gotta get it down, but first you gotta make sure that your stomach's prepared. You gotta win before you begin. We prepared, we trained for it, made sure our stomach capacity was there, we had the proper strategy, and what did I do? I dominated. If you have any questions, just check out all the articles on foodchallenges.com Feel free to check out any of our other videos on our YouTube channel of all the other different types of challenges because we don't include every little detail in every challenge. We try to switch it up for you guys. But until my next video, until the next challenge, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with foodchallenges.com, teaching people how to win food challenges all over the world.